So close your eyes, for that's a lovely way to be. Aware of things your heart alone was meant. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. What can I do for you? I was hoping you had a room available. Ah, uh, yes, quite a few, actually, but that's only for tonight. After that, I'm filled up through Christmas. No, one night would be fine, ma'am. Oh, good. Then I'll have you fill this out, if you don't mind. So are you visiting folks for the holiday? No. Um, I'm just passing through. Well, then we'll have to do our best to impress you quickly, won't we? Um, breakfast is at 8. I was thinking of attending church in the morning. It's right at the top of the hill. Uh, we could sit together. If you like, I mean. Oh, ma'am, that'd be great. Thank you. Oh, your keys are... Angels. That's right. So we'd like to welcome and warmly greet you. Uh, here visiting for the first time. Uh, any any, any uh, visitors? Please stand. Right. All right, let's sing number 240. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. taking Miss Cleveland to her car. She wants to go home. Mrs. Hemmings? I'm Tom Lowry. Wow. Oh, I'm oh, what a good girl. I sure do want to thank you, kind people. But this isn't Holly. Oh, Holly's much smaller than this dog. And she has a, a little white spot behind her left ear. Mrs. Hemmings, we sure hope you find her. So do I. These dogs are so full of love. As far as I'm concerned, you just can't have enough of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. Jim Longfoot. Uh, Jim Long. Look, this, um, this might be a, a bit of a surprise, but I, uh, well, Heather and I were just on our way to tell you that we got married. Who's Heather? Well, she's your daughter. Heather Johnson, my wife. Um, Brother Garris says we don't have a daughter, young man, and if you're selling something... No, uh, why? Well, I, I thought I had the right address here. It's... Is that the Johnsons over there? Don't know any Johnsons here. What? Oh. Here. See that? that that's Heather Johnson. <laughs> our, our Longfoot. Now we were married a couple days ago. Her parents live in, live in Logansville. Then. Are you sure you have the right Logansville? But is there another one, or, or another Jones Street that we? Uh, I don't understand, see, because we looked on a map, it's... I'm sorry. You look just like your father. Slugger, how are you? Good to see you. There are ordinary sandwiches. Ooh, what a face. I love this. And then there are extraordinary sandwiches made with a rich, creamy... And where do you think you're going? You're tracking up my clean floor. I'm just trying to find my class. Well, you won't find him in there. And if I wish you, I'd keep your distance. What's going on? Well, I only work here, and I'm not exactly sure what their business is, but it has something to do with hydraulic mining. You know what that's about. Not exactly. People are running out of places to find coal, so now they're washing away whole hillsides to find it. I don't suppose you've seen a teach. Listen. It's destroying some of our best farmland. I'm not a farmer. I'm a miner. But I have to represent the interest of all the people. Save it for the Sunday picnic, Senator. You wouldn't be sitting in that fancy chair if it wasn't for our support. Heck, there wouldn't even be a California if it wasn't for gold mining. I could show sure tell that mining company fell on a thing or two. So why don't you? Because no one listens to a woman's voice around here. How can you say that? And they're not going to until they give us the right to vote. But if this is 
a democracy, how can they not let all the people vote? Because it's always been that way. Well, that's not how it's always going to be. Oh, so you know how it's going to be. I have a pretty good idea. Well, I hope you're right about that. You just watch. Someday there's going to be women sitting in these offices, elected by the people. And I'm going to be the Queen of England. So close your eyes, for that's a lovely way to be.